up guys, this is JoeBiz34, back again, and as you can see, Jason Part 6, revision number 3, that's right, version 3, I've done two other videos in my past showing him in the first incarnation, and I did a video again uh, a few months ago showing how I upgraded him, which uh, I added the real gloves, if you quite remember, everything else. Um, I have the base that's autographed by the actor who played Jason. That hasn't changed. There's my little arm accessory. Everything else is pretty much the same. The shirt's the re-weathered, reworked sideshow. But one major difference, as you can see right there, I'm going to turn the light off here for a mood. Look at that. Sweet. Look at that. I love that lighting. The newest uh, addition to making this custom even better is a newly uh, done uh, Jason Part 6 head sculpt done by Kane. Uh, that's what he goes by on the Sideshow forums. And uh, it's a magnificent uh, sculpt. It's the first I've, any, I've seen anybody do of a Part 6. I mean, the mask in itself... I'll turn the light back on now so you guys can see it better. The mask is great. Um, weathered, great. And I'll get into the paint job. The paint job I have to give somebody else credit for in a minute. So this is first I'm going to review the sculpt. Now look at this. Check that out. Okay. That is... A fantastic head sculpt right there. I mean, to be honest with you, I, I don't even know in detail what Jason looked like under there. I mean, I thought the sideshow sculpt was good enough, but this just takes it to another level. Almost has like a sea creature kind of creature of the Black Lagoon kind of look at you know to it. Um, it's a great sculpt. It was done by Kane. Now, now my shout out goes to the paint job. Uh, Kane sold the sculpts blank, and he sold the mass blank. And the person that actually, uh, I, I went to heck with myself at this one. I said, you know what? I saw this guy's work on the form. I said, I want mine to look like that. So I got it painted by, uh, I had Kane send it directly to 8-Bit Commando. He goes by also on Sideshow, the Sideshow Freaks form. Um, and his paint work is incredible. So he actually painted this for me after I had bought it from Kane. So he painted the head sculpt. He painted and weathered the mask. And then he strapped it. He put the straps on it, which looked great. Okay. Unbelievable. Fantastic. All right. So I give uh, kudos to both people to bring in this to life. Uh, Kane for the sculpt and obviously, um, you know, 8-Bit for 8-Bit Commando for bringing it to life at the paint job. So, you know, guys, honestly, great job and you guys make a good team. Now, the one thing about this head sculpt that was a little unnerving at first is that it's, it's, it's probably truer in scale, like I mentioned, than... Um, than sideshow. Now these are still sideshow clothes and stuff, and the you know it's on a different body though. Or if you guys remember from last time, I had switched bodies and put this on a um, caustic plastic muscular body. So I thinned them down a little bit up here, so to make the shirt kind of be a little more in scale with the smaller head. Because this is my original. This was the sculpt I showed you last time. There's the mask I did. That was a sideshow repaint. Now if you look at it compared to that, look how much bigger. Okay, you can really see the difference. All right, so. Let's see if I can zoom in here and get it good here. Hold on a second, guys. Do that. There we go. All right. Look at that. Look at the difference in the uh, look at the difference in the size of the mask. Now the, the the head sculpt. Here's the head sculpt of the original sideshow. Straighten his mask out. Okay. So as you can see, um, although now I repainted this and I'm proud of the way it looks. I got to get the nice swampy, uh, you know, wet kind of look so I'm um, you know it actually isn't bad um, now if you compare it to the mask off again you can see the major difference that's where you really can tell okay so we can get a little more light on here and so you can see a little bit better there you go so like I said not too off but the sideshow head and obviously the masks are bigger you know, the sideshow version, the, the mask for that uh, Kane did is smaller and truer to scale. So that's why, throw this out, <laughs> well not throw it out, I'll save that for another custom or if somebody maybe wants it, maybe I'll put it for sale if somebody wants to make their own part six using this one. Um, so with that being said, I kind of shrunk everything down a little bit because I wanted to, uh, you know, bring it together. Um, it does look better now. When I first, I swear, when I first put the head sculpt on, it looked like a, 
it looked like a character from Beetlejuice, you know, with the shrunken head. And I really had to, I took some of the padding out, and I really had to, like, trim it down. And I might still work on him a little more. I might eventually replace the shirt altogether, just get a smaller shirt. Um, but right now, the way it looks, I'm completely satisfied, and I think I've gotten used to the scale difference now. So, to me, you know, it looks great. Um, so there it is. There's my Jason 6. And I'm going to pause it for a minute, because I'm going to, I got, uh, another Jason I want to show you. It's actually, uh not Jason, and uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute, so stay tuned, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, so as you can see here, we have uh, Roy, uh, part 5, from Friday 13th, part 5, and uh, basically this is what I, you know, I, I used to coin the phrase Rustum, uh, when I would say it's a redo of a custom already, this was a custom figure done by one, one's customs, and I got it a while ago, I got it over a year ago, uh, maybe two years almost. It'd be like two years this summer, I think. And um, it's a great. It's it was a great custom to begin with. Um, he actually had upgraded it for me. He sent me a newer head sculpt that was better than even his original one. So I'll take this mask off. And as you can see, there's the head sculpt done by one. Looks fantastic. Um, and you know, this was back when one was you know going strong, and then you know he disappeared for a little bit, but he's kind of coming back again. So uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully he's here to stay. And uh, the coveralls were done by him. Now, what I did was I uh, I switched out the body. Um, the body he gave me was okay, but I think I think it looked like it was either a sideshow body or something like that. So, I I actually switched out bodies and I put it onto a, um, a Hot Toys True Type figure of one of the older like na uh, narrow shoulder ones, uh, and it has a much better articulation now. Uh, there he is standing next to his counterpart. <laughs> A little blurry there with the light. There we go. Much better. Look at that. So, and if you notice the scale's different, I purposely made them smaller because it was supposed to be Jason wannabe, a Jason copycat, not Jason. So obviously the real deal is bigger and stronger. He was more lean, more of an average guy, almost like a Michael Myers type sort of. Um, and uh, the head sculpt I think is great. I think one did a great job with the head sculpt. Uh, really captures that uh, you know the, the character, what he looked like, the actor, and then having the dummy. Jason head over it. So, like I said, I had this figure for a while, just never got around to showing it or reviewing it. But I upgraded it again recently, so I wanted to finally review it and show it off. So, as far as my review of it originally, I would give it like an eight, uh, you know, minus for the body and stuff. I, I didn't like the body as much, but I weathered the uh, the the fake skin a little more, kind of weathered and dirtied it up a little more. Um, I swapped hands and body, so I weathered the new hands with the blood and the dirt that you're seeing on it right now. Okay. There you go, you can see that. Let me add a little more light again. Put this light back on, see if you guys can get to see it. There you go. So the, the hands are new, the hands are Hot Toys, the body's Hot Toys. Um, the mask, I reworked a little bit. I I shrunk the holes a little bit, and I have to sand it down a little more, and I uh, repainted and kind of weathered up the mask a little more. Um, so overall, there you go. It's a little rough around the eye hole, so I'm going to smooth it out some more. I'm going sand, to gonna sand it down a little more. Um, but that's my uh, Jason Part 5 Roy. Uh, Rustum. Uh, redo Custom. <laughs> uh, I didn't do much of it, honestly. It really was one's customs that, that put this all together. He did the weapon here. He's got the uh, the, the weed cutters here that he uses to stab the girl. That uh, I kind of glued it in paste. Originally he had it that it can move, but it kept falling apart on me. So I just glued it together to kind of give a more permanent pose. So I wanted, I want to kind of keep it like that. Um... And like I said, since switching out the body, I just like it a lot better. It's a lot more poseable. So there you go. So there's my Part 5 Roy. And there's my uh, third third edition, Jason Part 6 Custom 3.0. Thanks to Kane and 8-Bit Commando. Once again, Kane for the head sculpt. And 8-Bit Commando for the... Um, I'm moving the camera around a lot. Sorry, guys. Uh, 8 uh, Kane for the head sculpt and 8-Bit for the paint job. Um, and I wanted to do one more thing. I wanted to show something real quick for you guys can see over here. Let me see if I can switch the light. I promised uh, to give another shout out to C-A-W-W-E-12-W. Uh, he wanted to see my new Nightmare figure that I repainted and I reviewed just recently. And, you know, he had mentioned to me that I should have the collar up and I should have um, the boots showing more. So, just wanted to quickly re-show that. I promised him I'd re-show it in a video. <sighs> So, let me get the light going here. So, there you go. So, as you can see, the boots are showing. Okay. And uh, I, just pulled, you know, I just basically just pulled the pants up a little bit. 
and the collar is up. The collar is up now. All right, and that that's uh, that's a sideshow new Nightmare Freddy. Like I said in my other video, that I repainted the head completely myself. I got it from eBay. Got a great deal. The guy that I got it from did do a repaint to begin with. He darkened the color and made the flesh better, but it still looked kind of plastic, so I just redid it again. And I did a whole video on it. If you look at my channel, you'll find it if you want to get more detail on the figure. But apparently I uh, made the faux pas of not upping his collar and uh, showing the boots. So I promised I would make those corrections, and I promised I would show it again. Uh, for CAWWE 12W, check out his channel. He does great reviews, and he's got some videos up there. He's got some new ones up there right now. Uh, he does a great job, too. And this is to honor him. Boom! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, I think that's how he starts all his videos out. So anyway, um, there you go. Okay, so a lot of new stuff. All right. And uh, I will be back soon. I got a lot of Star new Star Wars stuff to show. I got I got IG-88 that I want to review. I got him from Sideshow. Um, I did a mod on the C-3PO that I have and corrected the lighting thanks to some help with some freaks on the, uh, the Sideshow Freaks board. Uh, I got more One's Custom stuff to show. I got a new... Uh, Rob Zombie H1 Myers that he did, and 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 a, an upgraded Leatherface head uh, from the remake Leatherface. I mean, I got a lot to show. It's just a matter of getting it all on film. All right, so I will be back soon, guys. Until then, peace out.